and they're off and pacing an early break from New Age Girl. New Age Girl went off stride at the start from the inside. Happy to be best is sent for the lead by Tom Sells. There's She's So Misty alongside second to challenge. And the two to five favorite, She's So Misty, takes over for Mike Lachance. Happy to be best is happy to be second at this point. There's a gap of three along the inside. Our French maid basing in the third position. Followed at the rail by our emblem in fourth. Be an angel fifth. Astronomers Hall and way back to New Age Girl. First quarter in 28 and four fifth seconds. Up the back stretch. She's so misty. The daughter of Falcon Sealster leading them by a length and a half. Looking to lower her lifetime mark of 156 and two. Happy to be best right there in the second spot for Tom Sells. Our French maid closes up the gap a bit in the third spot. Followed by our emblem who's pacing in fourth. Be an angel now comes to the outside for Chris Boring from fifth. She'll be followed by Astronomers Hall and John. Campbell. They reach the half. One minute, two-fifths of a second. A very slow half and a very slow second quarter. Good breather there for She's So Misty. You should have plenty left off of those fractions. Happy to be best with a perfect trip behind the leader is second. On the outside, here's Be an Angel advancing in earnest now for third. Our French maid at the rail is back to fourth. Astronomers Hall moving with the cover on the outside fifth. Then it's our emblem in the sixth spot. They head to three quarters. She's So Misty hasn't had an anxious moment to this point. She's on top by two. Happy to be best at the rail is second. Here comes Astronomers Hall circling up three wide for Campbell. Three quarters in one thirty and three. In the stretch, it's still She's So Misty. Here comes Happy to be best on the outside second at challenge. On the far outside, Astronomers Hall is kicking in. She's So Misty. Astronomers Hall gobbling up ground on the far outside. Happy to be best is third. It's She's So Misty with the lead. Astronomers Hall on the far outside. Happy to be best third. She's So Misty. She's so misty, wins it by a length. Astronomers Hall was second best. Happy to be best third in 159 flat. Into the winner's circle. Adding $70,000 to her bankroll tonight. Here's number four, She's So Misty. Owned by the pocket stables of Tarrytown, New York. Trained by Brett Pelling. Driven to victory by Mike Lachance. His first win and his first drive here this season. She's So Misty. Two-year-old Bay Philly by Falcon Sealster out of Mystical Moment. Now three wins and eight starts this season. This win pushing her over the $120,000 mark in lifetime earnings already. A powerful win on the front end for number four, She's So Misty. Winning three out of the last four starts. Making the trophy presentation to winning owner, trainer, and driver is Tom Crouch, the president of the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company, for She's So Misty's win in the first division of the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company two-year-old for right, the pace tonight. I'm here tonight. in the winner's circle after the first division of the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company pace here this evening. A winner with Mike Lachance, and we'll talk about the race a little bit. Go ahead and roll the replay. This uh, Philly hadn't shown any early speed out of the gate. Was that a decision you made before the race tonight? Uh, no, I was going to just see how I was going to go behind the gate, but uh, when I saw the two horse made a break, and uh, so that kind of... Uh, decide for me that uh, I want to race her in front but uh, she never is in front before so uh, I kind of cut like slow fraction there to make sure that I was going to have enough at the end there. And how did she react on the front end tonight? Did she seem pretty comfortable? Well she looked pretty good and um, it's a long stretch here and the last quarter was 28 and 3 or something like that so you know like she was pretty, uh, pretty strong at the wire. She kept pacing. And were you surprised that you didn't have any challengers a little bit early in the race tonight? Well, the, the, everybody was in the same boat. I think nobody wants to race in front, and uh, so I, I wanted the front, but they pay for it. All right, well, congratulations. You got one coming up in the Hoosier Cup here in the next elimination. That is race five here at Hoosier Park. Good luck with Jeremy's Gambit. Thank you. Back up to you, Pete.